lovely viewers you're once again welcome to the show the mirror of Christ and today we have a guest on this show with us so stay tuned we are going for a quick commercial break stay with us and learn more welcome back to the show the mirror of Christ and today we are having a guest speaker in our midst today on this program and is this man is very powerful and is very deep in mysteries and today is here with us so it's known as prophet Derek Ose so prophet can you tell my people something well I'm just here to lay um, build on the foundation that he has laid already so just stay glued to us and you will be blessed. Amen. Amen. So before we start, let us pray. Father, we thank you for your word that is coming to proceed out of a servant. Oh God, let it be clear, let there be clarity. Let there be clarity. Let there be power in the word. Oh God. Let revelation flow. Very simple. In Jesus' name I pray. And let the people understand his word. In Jesus I pray. Amen. So, man of God, how did God or how did Christ exercise his authority over sickness and oppression? Well, thank you very much. Now, in order for us to understand how Jesus demonstrated authority, first of all, we need to understand his mission statement. So, Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 1 verse 21, Bible says that, and she shall bear forth a son. And you shall call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. So his mission statement was to save people from their sins. So when Jesus grew at the age of 30, when he went for baptism, when John saw him, he said, Behold, the Lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world. So his mission was to save people from what? their sins. So after baptism, the Bible says that and the Holy Ghost came upon him and there was a confirmation from the heavens that this is the beloved son in him. He is well pleased. So based on that, he went into the wilderness. That is Luke chapter 4 verse 1. And the Bible says that when he was full of the spirit, he was led into the wilderness to be tempted. And after that, when he succeeded in the temptation, in the verse 14, the Bible says that he returned in the power of the Spirit and his name went abroad, or his fame went abroad. And the Bible says that he went on to a synagogue in his hometown. And the Bible says that they gave him a scroll. And when he opened the scroll, he saw a scripture. And he saw that that scripture was referring to himself. So in the book of Luke chapter 4 and the verse number 18, can you please read for me? Luke chapter 4, verse number 18. Mm -hmm. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me okay. because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. So he has anointed me, he has appointed me, um, he has given me the authority to preach the gospel to the poor, the poor one. Mm -hmm. He had sent me to heal the broken heart. So he has sent me or he has given me the authority to heal the broken hearted. Okay. Continue. To preach deliverance to the captives. To also preach deliverance to the captives. And which one is it? And recovering of sight to the blind. And the recovering of sight to the blind. To set at liberty them that are bruised. To set at liberty them which are bruised or to them which are old head. So one of the ways Jesus demonstrated authority is by knowledge. In a sense that he understood. When you read further, when he finished with that scripture, which was quoted in Isaiah chapter 61, the Bible says that when he read that scripture, he closed the book and he told them that this scripture has been what? Fulfilled today. Because he understood. He knew that he has been called. So all the things he said, are all components of salvation to heal people to preach to deliver them from bondage to deliver them from hurts to release them from oppression all these are 
the components. So he needed the anointing of God. When he received the anointing of God, he understood that he had been sent for this purpose. Luke chapter 13. So at this juncture, we'll be going for a quick commercial break. Stay with us. So we are still on Luke chapter 13. So in the book of Luke chapter 13, the Bible says that Jesus went into the synagogue and he was teaching. And the Bible says that a lady came who was bound with the spirit of infirmity for 18 good years. When he saw the lady, he was drove with compassion. He knew that he can do something about this lady because this lady was suffering for 18 good years. So he looked at the lady and he said to the lady, that woman you are free from these infirmities and he laid his hands on him and on her and she was what delivered now anybody listen to me right now any form of weakness in you i pray in the name of jesus that by the, as the word of god says that by his stripes we are healed oh i declare over your life in the name of jesus that every form of infirmity is loose in the name of jesus Amen. you are delivered Amen. from every pain Amen. you are delivered Amen. from every sickness Amen. you are delivered from every infirmity in the name of jesus and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty i declare that the holy ghost is taking care of those problems in the name of jesus so that is by knowledge Amen. by knowledge Amen. so the second aspect is by direction the second aspect is by direction what was the direction now in john chapter 5 verse 19 bible says that after jesus has healed that man at the pool of bethesda for 38 years he went somewhere and he told the pharisees that I can do nothing of my own, but as I see my father operating, as I look at it and I follow that direction, I do the same thing as he does. So that's the reason why most of the times we see Jesus behaving in a certain manner, not because he knows how to do it, but he sees what has been given to him by revelation. So it's all about revelation. I can see you are really enjoying the show. So we played on Prophet. Prophet, you have to come here next time again so that you give us more. I think you want more. So, at this juncture, as you, can, you already know, my name is Reverend Jedidaya Ansa Otu. And also my handles are down there. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel, that's Pastor Jed Ministries. So, stay blessed. Amen. <laughs>